Hi, this is Steve O'Mooney, and you're listening to another production of the 4i Radio Network at 4iradio.com. It's your good pal, Steve-O, from the 4i Radio Network. I'm here to talk to you about a wonderful designer we all know, uh, Revenge Lover. Illustrates and designs that fit your personality. For samples and inquiries, please visit revengelover.com. And just do yourself a favor and tell them Steve-O sent you. I know it really doesn't count for anything, but, I mean, come on. Who's gonna, who are you going to trust? You going to trust You gonna trust somebody else? No, you're going to trust me, Steve-O. Because, face it, I'm awesome. Let's do it. You're going to want that bass track in there. Extra, extra. Read all about it. You're such a dick Firm's, to my microphone. <laughs> Fern's got a new song. Let's hear all about it. Yeah, we decided to scratch <laughs> that other one because it... It was taking too long? Yeah. We, you got to... You, and you said it the best. You said it the best. Like you got to cut your losses sometimes and, yeah. and move forward. And we yeah. did that. We did that. We were running into some problems. So we got a new song we're going to hit you guys up with. It's called uh, self-infliction. Self-infliction. That's good. We'll get to that a little bit later. Right now, let's focus on this. It's episode 11. Once, as they say in the old country. <laughs> Once? Once. Is that, is that France? Yeah. That's, oh! No, I think that's Spanish. Sp- Spaniards? Yeah. That's, uh, They're great cooks. Maximus said that. <laughs> the Spaniard. Optimus Maximus? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Op- Optimus Primus. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Firm's Sorry for Partying, episode 11. Hashtag Firm Sorry for Partying. Yeah. Follow us on Facebook, forward slash Firm Sorry for Partying. iTunes, YouTube, Spreaker. Stitcher. 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 Twitter. All right, so Twitter, it's, it's a little funky. It's at Firm underscore S-R-Y for sorry. I didn't even know we had a Twitter. Yeah, well, I got us hooked up on one. So let me finish this. Okay. At firm underscore sorry s r y underscore four underscore p r t y. Yeah, because they're gonna party. write that down and remember. They're it. gonna they're gonna find it and they're gonna love us, aren't you, everyone? And you can find <laughs> us on Twitter too. Just oh. look up hashtag. <laughs> Qu- Sir Queefington. Yeah. <laughs> so topic for today is thyself. Okay. Thyself. It's biblical. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not at all. No. It's racial. Rachel? Yeah. You know what <laughs> So listen, my name's John. My I name's got, Cody Sheets. I, I got the longest dong on this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> and I got... Uh, Hemorrhoids. Yeah, pubes. Uh, you can follow me at, at John John 1318 on Instagram. I'm at December Jack. This is Cody, but... My Instagram is December Jack. Mm, mm-hmm. Makes a lot of sense. You've always been a December Jack, though. I have. That was your band name? Yeah. It wasn't the or band something. name. That was my name in the band. The band was West of December. Because oh. that makes sense. How can you be East or West of any month? What if there's a storm coming? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got me. See? You never thought of it like that. Yeah. 
I want to be north of January. <laughs> Sounds cold. Oh, burr. My nipples just fell off. So how you doing? <laughs> I've been all right. How you doing? This glo- it's it, it, it's it's heating up. It's, it's not heating up. It's degrees. hot. Yeah. It's you know, too got too damn hot it's right now. It's got too damn hot. Too damn hot to even be out here right now. So how was your weekend? Did you twerk it? it? I worked all weekend. Now I have diarrhea. That happens. I have the diarrhea of Anne Frank, actually. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. It's sad. But that's very Jewish of you. Yeah. Anything exciting? Uh, not really, no. Just I start uh, school this week. Yeah. On Thursday. Yeah, you gotta go for higher learning. School is cool! Yeah. And I also got a new job. Yeah. I, I'm a improv server. <laughs> so, <laughs> like... <laughs> Stand up Will I serve you? I don't know. Yeah. It's improbical. So you just make up Kool Aid as you're serving <laughs> yeah, your. Yeah. Let me you improv a drink for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I start that also Thursday. You'll That's be serving a lot of grape drink. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to do that. Hey, guess what? It's Fat Alert 2015. Fat. I. Fat? I fat. F A T. Not P H A T. Okay. Not the cool alert. Not pretty hot and tempting. No. Fat like fucking disgusting and untempting. Yeah. I've 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 gained critical mass. Yeah. That I can't go anymore. Every no, time I eat a chip. We're not talking about math either. And, no. 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 Every time I eat a chip, Carrie looks at me like Why are you doing that? You sure you want that? Yeah. And so at first it's like even when you get into a relationship, they're like, I I don't even care if you gain any weight. You could you could gain some weight. I don't care. Now I push the limits. Now she has to shuffle through your mid region to find your yeah. dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Let me once, roll this one back yeah, here. Once a month. So, all right. So, a good weight for me is two twenty. That's like a good weight. I'm six four, two twenty. I would like to be two ten. Two ten. What are you running now? I'm about two thirty. So I stepped on the scale today, and I'm two sixty seven. Now, if I was a linebacker for the Cardinals, that'd be great. Yeah. But I'm a linebacker for the couch at home. Yeah. And that's not great. Yeah. That's... So today, as you as my witness, I'm going to start losing weight. Yeah, I've already started, and you know we didn't drink for a while. But uh, we need to keep on that. Keep on yeah. keeping on like the Brady Bunch. Yeah. I, you know, I, just, I can't just – I'm like engulf anything. It's good. My Food face, is good. Man. Yeah, man. I, I had In-N-Out the other stop. night, and it was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, In-N-Out. They, they hate when I order. Yeah. I went <laughs> in and directly out of my butthole. Yeah. I think that's there's, why that's they named why, it. There's a reason why they call it that. Animal style. <laughs> Because it came out like a fucking lion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I heard this. It might have been my ex-girlfriend or something, but we were going through the line, and they called it doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like a number two doggy style. <laughs> Extra large Coke. That's good. All right. So, we got some things to discuss. Some hot topics. <laughs> We should get them to endorse us. Yeah. Hot we, topic. We segment. start wearing Jinkos. Yeah. I'll have a lot of posters. Yeah, dude. We can buy some fucking <laughs> mascara and we'll get crazy with it. All right. So let's sit, let's sit on it. All right. Uh, it's out there. You, you, have you seen Tom Brady's sketch <laughs> yeah. of him in the courtroom? Oh, it's amazing. All right. To me, he looks like a character from Street Fighter 2. I think it's. I uh, think his name is Akira. Yeah. I, that <laughs> is. Yeah. It, uh, like, it looks like Jin from Tekken. <laughs> It does. Yeah. Who, like, who drew this? Was he? I'm guessing he was Asian. Yeah. Anime. He's yeah. a big, a yeah. firm believer in you Pokemon. Get, no, you can't get someone who does Japanese anime porn <laughs> to do a courtroom sketch. Sketches, yeah. Of that's Tom Brady. Just... Like, was it a joke? I don't know. I think this is, yeah. that's like. I think he just Ryu was sitting <laughs> next to him and he <laughs> sketched the wrong person. <laughs> Dude. It's so fucking funny. And the judge looks like fucking uh, Blanca, <laughs> fucking all green and turning electric. He just had. He just got. He just came from the arcade right before. Yeah. He's like, oh. He's like, <laughs> took <laughs> took it a silver ball. Play some video games or something. So, how about these? I, I sent you the link on Facebook. Rape panties. <laughs> They're in style now. Yeah. Did you see them? That and that's real, right? That's, that's not real. a joke. Okay. No, that's real. Like you're all right, so I'm gonna set the mood. Yeah. 
I'm a I'm a hot chick yeah. with titties. Okay. And I'm getting ready, and I slip a, a dress over my titties. And the more you talk like that and say you're a hot chick, <laughs> the more disgusted I get. <laughs> but go ahead. All right. Look at this. Uh, and then uh. I put on a dress, but underneath the dress are the most... The most unattractive, well, I guess rape panties are supposed to be unattractive, right? You yeah. don't want to make attractive yeah. rape panties. You're not going to make come hither <laughs> rape panties. Hey, boys, come get this, but you can't. <laughs> come get this, but you can't. I think it's called a, why don't they just call it a chastity belt? Yeah. Well, those are different. Have you ever seen a real chastity belt? You, I like, have. put it around your fucking. I, I, I built a time machine and went back to <laughs> uh, the medieval. Yeah, I saw it on the Da Vinci Code. That's where I first saw it. And that one guy, the fucking... Uh, they, I mean, I I have a daughter now. Casper. So I, uh, the chastity belt is not a far-fetched thing. I would love to make one. Yeah. <laughs> Just make one that never comes off. <laughs> did you, all right, did you hear back in the... This was a while ago that, you know, to prevent rape, they were having, like, this, like, this thing they put in their vaginas and it would, like, stab your penis? Yeah, it's that, uh, that birth control thing. This. Knifey? No, I, don't, I don't remember what it's called. I'll fucking stab your dick off if you rape me. I think it's called Urethra Franklin. <laughs> An oldie but a goldie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, point is, don't rape. Don't and rape if you're trying people. To rape, you and then you don't anymore. need those panties. Well, wait. No, that doesn't make sense. They're like, you can't, I guess. All right, so I guess when you're trying to rape, this is what I read. When you're trying to rape, if there's if there's force given back, the more force given back, the less you will get raped. If, so when they're trying to take your panties off, if they're having a problem, it then turns into up. a python panties, and it yeah. just starts to squeeze. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you can't get them off, and then you, I guess, the fuel runs out of your rape ignition. Yeah. And then you're like, all right, now I'll just see you next week in class. But like, they don't make one for your mouth, obviously. No. But but yeah, teeth. You got that's mouth. anti mouth that, that, rape. Your is mouth teeth. is built in with a. Uh, uh, a rape yeah. prevention. Be that fucking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Be that chick from uh, <laughs> Gangs of New York. Just sharpen all your teeth. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> you want a kiss? <laughs> how about how about some music? How about some uh, how about some Oakley Dokley? Oh yeah. I've, I didn't bring that up, but it's amazing. Song okay, bitch. you keep talking. I'll, I'll get talk it. about it. So. It's Oakley Dokley. I guess it's a heavy metal band. That's that's a Ned Flanders. It's amazing. That's what it cover is. Cover band. But it, but here's the thing. So I, I read about it and I thought it was just going to be like a heavy metal band that like did Simpsons songs. It is not. It's, yeah. It, it, it is. is less, it's something. It's loading right now, but we'll show you. It's uh, something to talk about. It's yeah, and we're not. Let's kill something and <laughs> talk about. Okay, here we go. Oakley yeah. Doakley. Yeah, we're going to play a little snippet. And it's called They Warned Me, but it sounds like he says they warned me. <laughs> Don't laugh. These are artists, serious artists. It's got great lyrics. Oh, uh, listen to that power chord to the next power chord transition. Yeah. Let me guess yeah. what the next lyrics are. Is it "They Warn Me"? <laughs> oh shit! Listen to that. That is not the Simpsons. He needs to lay off the symbols. Ned Flanders. That's like how I used to play. You used to. <laughs> Oh, oh, they warned me. They warned me. That's my new favorite book. He's got great lyrical range. <laughs> hey, you'll see hi, they warned me. Ready for this? Oh. I've had enough. Apparently, they warned him. I don't know why. I it. hope that the Simpsons creators take full advantage of this and I want to see this in an upcoming episode I'm guessing someone warned him about putting that song out did you and that's know, what it's about did you know that Fox owns the rights to the Simpsons till 2085 really yeah 
That's, I mean, <laughs> well, like with royalties and shit, they're going to make money that whole time. But you, right, so I've, I'm sure you've seen that Simpsons episode. You know how they make fun of Fox, but they're on Fox? No, I've never seen yeah, it. Oh, they I was not of, a Simpsons fan, to oh, be honest. I love it, man. They make fun of Fox because they signed a waiver. Or they in their contract it says that they have total creative rights. Oh, okay. So they can make fun of Fox. All That's the time. badass. Yeah. That doesn't happen often. No. But what are you gonna do? Not have the Simpsons on your network? Well. And then lose out on millions of merchandising. This. Or and that. you could say the same about music, but artists don't have creative rights to a lot of their shit. Yeah. But guess what? Simpsons is way more popular than any music out right now, and it's been for twenty four seasons. You can tell me, like Michael Jackson? No. But yeah. Michael, he's dead, right? I don't know if you did. You know that? I mean, <laughs> you said any music out right now, and it's out right now. I think, yeah, he was he was more popular than Simpsons. Yeah, Simpsons has been around, man. Yeah, so the longest That's airing what, television yeah, show. I think. They raised me. Yeah, they raped me. <laughs> Well, because you weren't wearing Rick pants. I know. <laughs> That's the next commercial right there. We're going to make a commercial for... Rick panties! Next time. Let's get gruesome with it. All right, yeah. so you guys probably seen this or heard about it. The, the fucking China... Oh, my God! Yeah. I thought it was the China explosion. I thought it was the sequel to, to Pacific Rim. It was. Too. Yeah. Like, I was waiting. I'm sure that... Because it shows a video. It's Asian people yeah. taking the video. I was waiting for them to, to scream, Godzilla! I was waiting to say, Fuck you! <laughs> no, you're fucking me! <laughs> Kiss your mother with that mouth. <laughs> if you look closely in the video, there's a Jaeger down there trying to keep bomb? everything. Yeah. There's a kaiju, <laughs> and then there's a Jaeger, and they're fighting. That's really what happened. It's a cover up, big conspiracy. <laughs> it, Charlie Hunnam was down there. It's a cyanide? Cyanide. It well, it was so. What are they doing? What are they doing? Now? I don't know. Are they? Are they? The I don't think cyanide agent is cyanide pill. Maybe it's cyanide for something good. I've never heard cyanide used for anything that's great. Yeah, because like you hear about it, cyanide to me, I, maybe it's too many James Bond flicks. Yeah, but it's when you're cornered, you take cyanide pills so you don't have to. Fucking yeah, talk that's to James what Bond. the Nazis did. Yeah. That's how, apparently how Hitler killed himself. I don't know if I believe that. We'll probably never know. Right. They probably tortured him for fucking months. Oh, oh, like the, that's the unwritten story? Yeah, exactly. He, or we found him and he took a sign. I don't feel like he would go out like that. Maybe he would. Well, he's, all right, you got to think. Obviously, his ego was a, was a little more than any, exactly. <laughs> anyone else's. Mm -hmm. So maybe he was like, I will kill myself because no one else is going to touch me. I can see that. Yeah, maybe. I can see that. We'll never know. So did you know? Uh, you know, all right. So this next little little tidbit. You're a sarcastic motherfucker. Yeah, pretty. I'm a sarcastic motherfucker. Yes. Maybe too much. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> I have conversations with my girlfriend, and she's usually angry afterward ninety percent of the time, just because yeah. I joke yes. around and I'm sarcastic as fuck. Uh huh. But I read that on Facebook. Yeah. On a, a on a little on a little article. Yes. Sarcastic people equals smarter. Yeah. What do you think about that? I like it. I feel like uh, I learned it from my dad, who's a very smart person. Me my too. My dad, I'm a lot like my father, and my mind works faster than my mouth, so I have trouble talking. So if, if anyone's ever listened, stupid. <laughs> yeah. If anyone's ever listened to the show, you might know what he's talking about. Yeah. Cody choked on a word last. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, I wish I had that. I might have to put it in there. But uh, yeah. So, I mean, in my whole family, that's where I learned sarcasm from, and well, I believe them to be very smart. Yeah. Have you ever, like, been sarcastic to somebody and they just don't get it at all? All the time. I do it. Like, I'm a bartender, man. I do it nonstop. Exactly. Like, I don't, like, they don't laugh at a hilarious show, and you know what's fucking funny. Yeah. Like, you, you want to save it again. I know it in my heart of else. hearts that it's yeah, funny. Yeah, exactly. You want to save it so you can tell someone else who actually gets it. Yeah. And they're like, that's, they're like, you, I, be I believe it, because if you don't get sarcasm, you are an idiot. I think so, too. I, I truly believe that. And people say, like, sarcasm is, like, for angry people. That's probably true, but... I was, I've was i been sarcastic forever. I feel like when I'm angry, that's when I'm my smartest. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe I say some things I shouldn't, but... Oh, well, that's just sarcasticism. Sar yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's smart right there, what you just said. Sarcasticism. <laughs> I tries to be the thing. Yeah. Guess what time it is? Social media. Social media. Okay. All right, all right. So, 
You don't know about this. This uh, is this is new to you. You okay? So I, I'm a, I'm a, this maybe is, I do know about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was. I think they got that recording clip from that China explosion. So. <laughs> So, I read an article, and it's five things women want to tell you about sex that you need to know. Harder. It's from the Daily Dot. Credits go to Amanda Mar Marcot. I don't know. I'm not her friend, so I don't know. She sounds like she has a stinky vagina. Yeah, yeah. Let's Amanda Marble (laughs) Clot. <laughs> yes, that sounds like a fun disease that sounds, I don't want. Sounds like a fish market. <laughs> Outside of Jerusalem? Hey, yeah. You want to go down to the marble clot and grab some <laughs> trout? Mm, that sounds phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> marble trot. So, marble trot, uh, put this on. So, I'm going to read the five five things that that we that women want to tell us about sex, but won't. Why don't but they just tell us? Okay. So, here's number one. We can tell you're doing something because you saw in a porno. Yeah, absolutely. How much have you learned from from watching pornos? I feel like I'm, isn't that the place to learn, if any? I yes, 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 yes. And this is true. If you fuck, <laughs> you just sounded like you were in a porno. Yes, 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 yes. yes, 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 yes. If yes. you suck at fucking, watch a porno. Watch but a porno. I have heard girls say that. I've heard, I I think I read an article actually that said if you saw it in a porno it's wrong. That's you no. You tell that to ninety percent of the women I've banged. Jenna Jameson? I never banged her. But But like, do you think maybe they're just telling you right, you're good? No. No. Alright, so here's pre porn. Okay. Here's pre com pre com pre porn. Okay. It's dangerous. Missionary style. Yeah. Missionary style. I'm coming. Well. Yeah. Okay. Porno, 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 twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, through many, this is many years. Yeah. This is many years of, of, of you know, watching clips yeah. and learning from Like, it. from Randy West to yeah. Jack the Hammer. Oh, I, I, dude, I used to watch porno with fucking, what's the huge slung guy that's fat as hell now? Ron Jeremy. I, I had probably three of his old porns. Huge slung dong. Yeah. I loved it. Not the dong. <laughs> well, I can't lie. I love I, the dog. I, yeah, it it's looks, good. You can't. It oh, you don't want to watch a porno of a girl get taken a small cock. I love Japanese porn. <laughs> How's that sound again? It sounds like this. <laughs> so that's exciting. Uh, but so here's here's post porn. Oh, yeah, you fucking bitch. You like fucking that? Oh, watch this. Oh, right, grab your fucking hair. Slap. Slap. Choke. Choke. I will choke you. I, uh, 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 uh. Oh, you want to taste your own pussy? Taste your own fucking pussy. Yeah. Uh, slip, slaps, catty, wax. Give a dog a boner. God. Yeah. <laughs> spit on it. <laughs> yeah, spit on that fucking. Take it, take it, take it. And afterwards, they are thrilled. Yeah. They are thrilled. Isn't that better than pre-porn? There's nothing like... And guess what? 90% of the women like to be choked. And that's not a fucking study done by Yale. That's a study done by John. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and you... you I, I, think, I feel like a long time ago, you even asked me, you're like... You're like well, it, it changed, man. I feel like from, I when I choke. moved to Arizona, I saw a thing on social media that said Phoenix is the, is the kinkiest city in yeah. the United States. But Indianapolis I, is I number four. I was choking four. bitches in North Carolina. I wasn't. Back in North Carolina, because yeah. I never lived there. But I wasn't in Indiana either when I lived there. But when I moved out here, I noticed that. And that was like, that's when I asked you, like, what, seven years ago? I'm like, yeah. like, is that normal? Yeah, like, I, I feel mean, like when you I could get in trouble with girls like, like, I've had girls straight up say, hit me. Yeah. And yeah. I will not do that. I'm no, sorry. I won't either. Well. Yeah, you probably <laughs> would. So, I mean, this girl in Yuma, Frico. Yeah. Frico. Good girl, good girl, still friends, but she was a freak out. Freak out. Back co. in the day, freak out. Before I went to Afghanistan, I Melt your ass, lift knees, touch your elbows. <laughs> freak freak out. Freak out. So we were going at it, and I remember she was like, choke me. Yeah. And I choked her. Yeah. And then she was like, pull my hair, bitch, why you, why you do that? So I choked, I was choking this broad. You got your hands full. Pulling her hair. So she's, she's, she's down. She's, she's down. passing out. I got out. a pin. Yeah, okay. I got a pin. And then in the I wish I would have came in the room, just been like, 
One, uh, two, three. You win. Yeah, get a gold belt. Yeah. So in the midst of all this, I'm thinking I'm doing a great job, and she looks at mine and she's like, "Choke me harder, motherfucker." Oh and at God. that point, I was like, her eyes rolling in the back of her head. Yeah. But she loved it. I don't get it. And, and guess what? I didn't learn that from just myself. I learned that from porn. Yeah. Porn is great, man. Porn will teach you everything. Yeah. All right, let's move on to number two. Endurance is overrated. I agree with that. Yeah. I I think I, she's, she's 20 saying, minutes tops. If, you, if I can't, is that what it says? 20 minutes. I say if you can't get a girl off in 20 minutes, you should just stop. What Do you know doing. how long ago now? 20 seconds. <laughs> just because That's I have sex good. once every two weeks. Yeah. My car, co- like, you, you have to, you gain stamina by fucking. Right. Yeah. 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 And I and I don't even have time to jerk off all the time. I wish I said. I wish I could. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a bush over there. If you want to, I'm go, going run. to hit it up right after this. Okay. Actually, I might. Can I do this on air? Just do it while you're. I think it might be a first. <laughs> so anyway, I was like, so I was, ah! Okay, that was number two, right? Yeah. So and you're right. You're right. So you got to last more than five seconds. But you don't want to go past twenty seconds. I don't feel like. And I've I've heard like I've oh, talked no, tw- twenty minutes. I've heard right. dudes be like, I fuck for hours. I'm like, why? What's the You point? know what else you could have been doing? Yeah, dude. There's video games to be Have played. sex, 10, 20 minutes. Stuff and... crust pizza right after. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. There. So, we actually do know what it takes to orgasm. That guys know what it takes? No, remember, this is girls telling okay. us that. So, uh, I- I've been with a girl before who has... Problems, orgasm, that, and they say that. Yeah. Now that's something really, you. They, I, they, I feel like thing. as a girl, I don't know this. I'm not a girl, but I feel like that's something you need to learn on your own time, mm-hmm. and then bring it to the table when you have sex, because then you'll know what you like. Every girl likes something Get a different. Nice porno. Yeah. Take some self indulgence time. Yeah. And figure your body out. No. Yeah. But here's here. So the next one right after that is is that getting there is sometimes more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, I actually have a story. Really, about, uh, I actually have a story about That's a girl that we've both entered. Okay, where uh, what's it called, Eskimo brothers? Uh huh. Or is that an Eskimo sister? Uh, I think uh, we all live in the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on! Uh, we're just you know we go. So it, the, there's a girl that we've both been with. Yeah, and uh, I, and she was an Eskimo, and she <laughs> was not. She's JJ. I'll call her JJ. You'll figure it out. Oh, uh, yeah, I get it. And and she... I knew, for some reason, I knew that's yeah. what you were talking about. Well, she has problems sh- orgasm. Probably not anymore. I don't think it, I don't think it stops. Yeah, I guarantee she you was, figure it out. She was not a young girl, so she, she had a lot of years to figure her own body out, and she wasn't not sleeping with people. Yeah, that's true. So, but I remember one time, like, we, we had sex for like an hour. And it just wasn't happening. And I, and I, and I there's I nothing more you can do with that. I, I know, but I woke up. I went to bed, passed out. I, I finished phenomenally. Yeah. And you woke up, and she was pleasuring herself with a vibrator That's right awesome. next to me. It, that made you feel like a man. Yeah, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm gonna leave and go to Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> so, I may not be able to please you, but I can please this burrito. Yeah, and then number five. Uh, of what women want to tell you about sex that you need to know is our bodies are very sensitive when aroused, so be gentle. Okay. Well, I okay. I don't believe that at all. Uh, no, Here's, I believe I believe that. Okay. Uh, when I said I went to In and Out the other night, we decided to have sex after this, me okay. and so, uh, someone else, and I yeah. was like, "Don't worry, I'll go slow." Yeah. And so I did. I was like, "We'll go how'd slow." That, how that? How'd and that she's out? like, "Fuck this." Mm-hmm. She's like, "This is not cool." I'm like, "I agree." I just thought maybe you had a full tummy and you want to go slow. <laughs> and she's like, "No, fuck me hard." Yeah. So I've never, I've never started going at it with a girl, and she's like, uh, "Stop, go slower and more intimate." I have had some. You know like what? That. I take it back. I have, exactly. and we both entered this woman as well. Me and Cody's cocks are are, are roommates. We're damn roommates. near related. <laughs> They're they're womb mates. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we should at least touch our our dicks together at least one time. I can't wait. I want to do. We'll a, high five them when we finish this album. Let's do it yeah. in front of everyone. Can that be the album photo? <laughs> <laughs> let's just mush our penis heads together. Yeah, <laughs> <We call laughs> that's it. actually an Zizazari. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, no, or 
Yeah, with Seth Tom Rogen. Tom Cruise and fucking uh, and Will Smith, Will Smith and Brad Pitt yeah, all yeah, trying yeah. to touch their yeah. dicks together. I actually watched it the other day. That's no, funny. That we'll uh, mush them together. That'll be the the photo. We'll dry little smiley faces on it, and we'll call the album Double Trouble. Double mushroom tip. <laughs> <laughs> so that yeah. So I've never I've never heard of a chick say oh just just lay out well except for that one. Who has to light candles and listen to Barry Manilow just to get in the mood. I'm like, uh, I'd rather go jerk off in the bathroom. Okay, I didn't anyway, know that's who you were talking about. We also share some, some work done by her. Anywho. Uh, <laughs> so, topic of the day is thyself. Not self. I don't know why I said it like that. Self? <laughs> self thy selfie. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk a little bit about ourselves. Okay. Okay. How about uh, self-indulgence? What does that mean to you when I say self-indulgence? What are we just, drinking on right now? I just what felt bad you? right after you said that. Why? Uh, because I <laughs> self-indulge a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I ate. I eat. I yeah. eat a lot now. Yeah. And well, I, I wasn't even stopped. thinking just food. I was thinking oh, alcohol. No, oh, no, no. That's, that's I'm everything getting, else. I'm getting to that, yeah. too. Do you think that you can just dabble? Or are we a glutton for life? I like, feel like, like you have not... to relearn it. I, I feel like I was honestly getting better for a while. It's honestly, it might be just being weak. So what, what, like, what is, is that? It's something in our back mind. Is it our cocks? Is it our fucking, like, what I think... is that inside of us that, that when we should just have one, and it'll be okay, it's still a good time. But instead of just having that one, we want 46. Because here's mine. Like, I drink three beers and I feel good. I'm like, just imagine if I drank nine more, nine, how yeah. good I'll feel. And then, also on top of that, uh, uh, eight ball would feel phenomenal. And then yeah. while we're at that, let's pick up a, a gallon of vodka. We'll see yeah. where the night ends. I don't know, man. I like, feel like if there is a devil, that makes sense. That's the one in our ear. Yeah. Like just like really like, hey, man, get fucked you can up. get one more drink. But like if we're all going to die anyway, what's the big fucking deal? So part of me says that. Yeah. Why not have a good time while you're here? Does it really matter when you die? Well, what if you get up to get up to the pearly whites and God's like, listen, you had a twenty three thousand dollar beer limit and you drank twenty three thousand eight hundred and seventy four. I'll be like, you're going to hell what? where there's kegs. <laughs> Party. Yeah, fucking. Welcome to hell, Cody She. Quad City DJ start playing. <laughs> yeah, come on, ride a train. Choo and ride choo. It. Oh, oh. Come on, ride a train. It's a choo uh, choo uh, train. Uh, uh. Steve Harvey's hosting it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a place I want to be. Hey, sounds fun. Sounds fun. So, not only can he do Family Feud, he can host a kegger. Mm. So self indulgence is out the window with us. Like we, like we got to work on it. We're pretty bad at it. Yeah, we got to limit ourselves. I feel like yeah, it's something I really need to work as yeah. like focus on. Especially like I don't know if it's more of like a, a health thing, but it does like have a tendency to they ruin. coincide. It, well, that's true. It, you know, that's right. and that's part of it. But uh, also like. It ruins a lot of things, you know, like, think about how many jobs that you've lost due to alcohol-related incidents. Think how many jobs I've lost just from, like, indulgence of wanting to sleep longer. Yeah, that, and <laughs> uh, indulgence of wanting of the, to sleep with your employees. Dr- drugs and alcohol intake. Yeah, and that, like, relationships, fucks up relationships, oh, yeah. like, oh, you know. So, all right, so, what about this next one? Self-pleasure. Hmm. I've been there. <laughs> I've yeah. done that. Done that. You got <laughs> guns? Yeah, I got vibrators. <laughs> do you do you remember the first time you ever masturbated? I think every guy remembers that. Why don't you share your story? I will I'll share mine. I was on the track bus. I didn't start masturbating until I was like in high school, dude. My freshman year Shut high school. Shut the fuck up. Swear to God. What why, did you do? Why would cock? I lie about that? What did you I didn't know what to do. Your cock was just mad at you. Yeah, dude. Hard all the time. And I'm like, what? how do I get rid of this? I just walked around with boners all the time. <laughs> There's Cody and his dick. No, I did the tuck master. <laughs> tuck but master foot. You never just bust a nut in your fucking belly button? I think I probably accident. came close. But, okay, so the guys, I was riding the track bus, and I was talking. I was hanging out with the seniors. 
and they are all sharing like beat off stories, yeah, so, like losing it, laughing and yeah. shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And uh, the, and you know, I just listen to them, and I was like, okay, so that's what I do. So for whatever reason, I decided to use water as <laughs> as a lubricant. Yeah, H two O. Fuck no. Yeah, and so I mean, whatever. I raw dog it all the time. Now it's not like yeah. it matters, but. I grabbed that, you know, and I went upstairs, and, you know, I had a magazine. I think it was good at housekeeping. <laughs> it always gets me off. Uh, and, you know, I just started going. I'm like, when is this supposed to happen? Mm-hmm. And I eventually just kept going. Then, you know, when you feel it a little bit, you're like, oh, shit, so something's about to happen yeah, right yeah. now. And then I remember... <laughs> You know, fucking boom, and I'm like blackout, and I fucking like I couldn't move. Yeah. I was on, I was on, oh, my, yeah. on my bed, laid on my back. Cloud I'm like, fucking nine. Oh my god, and I'm just enjoying the moment. Yeah. And then I hear, Kenny, <laughs> my mom yells upstairs, <laughs> <laughs> clean up your fucking plate. I'm about to, I have to clean up a different mess first. I was like, uh, uh, that's the worst feeling, like. Yeah. Getting off for the first time and then, and then having your mom yell at you to clean up your yeah. dishes. So, I was 11 when I what? first masturbated. I lost my virginity at age 12. That's, I fucked at age 12. My crazy. dick was the size of a miniature pickle. <laughs> All right, so. Old, what is it called? The chub that you get at the gas station? Yeah, okay. exactly. No, it wasn't that big. <laughs> it's more like a, <laughs> a, a pixie stick. stick cut in half. So, I'm 11. I, I had a, uh, older stepbrothers at the time, and I feel like it was the same thing. Like we were all talking about, you know, jerk off stories. I probably lied, like, yeah, I jerked off all the time, man. Hey, oh, of I'm like, what the fuck is jerking off? So, I remember going into the bathroom of my stepmom's apartment, like, and this was this is this was probably like six times, and I would go in there and and start jerking it, and then right when it would get to that part where you're about to come everywhere. I didn't know what was happening. Yeah, and like you get, I remember being scared. Yeah, I'm like, I was and like, you what stop, is this? So you I, know. So I stopped. So yeah. this is like, I didn't come. So you gave yourself blue balls. Yeah, yeah, and then I'm walking around hunchback in Notre Dame, like, what the fuck is going on? One, one of my thighs. John, hurt. take out the trash. You take out the fucking trash, Dad. Yeah, my abs hurt. <laughs> yeah. So, so all right. So like the sixth time, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over the toilet, and whatever feeling comes, I'm just gonna keep going. I felt like stars were going to come out of my dick or something. Yeah. And they did. Yeah, white that ones. sixth time, I just was like, all right, I'm rocking this shit. And then, ba-bam! Just a fucking star off of Mario. Mario came out with yeah. it. I passed out from gloriousness. Yeah. And then was like, this is it. This is all I want to do. When for, I got uh, off, forever. I heard Tina Turner's What's Love Got to Do With It automatically. <laughs> what love got to do with it? Right. And I'm just smiling at the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, I heard a, can you take me <laughs> higher? Of course. And it didn't even come out yet. That's how, that's how yeah. it was. <laughs> Scott Stapp just broke into your house and started singing. So once you. you started masturbating, how out of control were you with Oh, it? man. I used to fuck pillows. Yeah, it was. I used to fuck anything. If I I walk around the house and be like, that faucet deserves a fucking. Yeah, dude. It's looking at me funny. I'm trying to stick my dick in it. <laughs> <laughs> this pencil sharpener had a skirt. I'd have to hide it. All right, all right, yeah, everybody should jerk off, it's fun. Yeah. So, how about Enjoy this? Enjoy yourself. How about this? Selfies. <laughs> selfies. Yeah. But I wanted to ask you something. What's the best way to take a selfie dicky? Indian style. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That's all I got. I always go from under. Yeah. So my dick looks huge. But you always see, like, my fat rolls now. And then, like, a, a chub of You my just leg gave cheek. me an idea. So take a <laughs> selfie from the bottom of your dick. At least show your balls. And then have your face, like, pop it out the side. Like, <laughs> photo dick bomb. <laughs> yeah. I just dick bomb myself. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's going on social media. Do you like media. Pussy, pussy selfies? I'm sure you've gotten a few sent to you. No. Never? Show me the boobs. I don't want... I, the vagina is just Pussy not is nice to look at. scary by itself. It looks like a flesh-eating monger, yeah. right? Like, but it feels good. No, no, it's lovely once we're face-to-face, but, you know, I, I, I yeah. show me your tits or your ass. Yeah, I like the booty. Like show me your tits or ass. So, you know, we're getting to that point. It's thyself. The reason why it's thyself is because 
we, we made a song called Self Infliction. Yeah. And uh, for those of you who know, we didn't say, we, you know, we, we ran out of music and stuff, but we decided to scratch one of the other songs, uh, West Coast. Yeah. West Coast Offense. <laughs> We just run into a lot of problems, the lyrics, the time, it just, yeah. it was too much hassle. I'm going to remake it on my Yeah, album. oh, no, it, we, we didn't scratch it completely, we just yeah. decided we're going to come back to it. Yeah. Uh, so, self-infliction, what it's about is, I have fucked a lot of things up on my own recognizances. Yeah. Like, I mean, like you said, jobs, relationships, weight, fucking, uh, Hair, careers, haircuts, haircuts. <laughs> Dick trims, yeah, uh, m- many things. Bad chew choices. Yeah, Chija, Ja Rule. Yeah, Ja Rule was the most yeah. horrible thing I've done to myself. How many would have died with me? How many <laughs> would have died with me? Lot it up. <laughs> so I wrote this song about like, man, I like I fuck myself out of a lot of things. So I'm gonna write about it, yep. and uh, I recorded it. Back in the day, Cody liked it, but we hadn't heard it in a long time. And the other day, I just playing a little thing. We're like, you recorded it. Where did you record it? At MCC with. Oh, uh, okay. That's that's the last time you heard it. Oh, okay. Um, so we're gonna play a little snippet for you, and uh, and then uh, we'll talk to you a little bit more and say goodbye. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, self inflicted. That's all we have for you today. I appreciate you for tuning in. Yeah. I love you. Love I love you. you. Let's cheers it up. We never cheers. All right. Cheers, well, buddy. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time. Keep it easy, crazy. This has been another great presentation by the Four Radio Network. You can find more information at foureyedradio.com.